Good morning, folks. Top news is obviously the 8.9 earthquake near Sumatra. USGS has it as an 8.7. This was just minutes ago, so if you are watching this, you have more up-to-date info than I do on any tsunami damage or deaths, but the tsunami watch was just issued for the area. Moving on. The Kotla volcano is back on watch. To put this in perspective, it is hundreds of times more powerful than the billion-dollar blast volcano that paralyzed Euro airspace in 2010. This is a good article about how cooperation throughout history may have built our big brains. This article will give you a little update on the critical world water situation. There are some geological features on Mars that may lend themselves to tiny microbial life, and apparently Venus's ionosphere is charged enough to have magnetospheric properties. Swift detected a gamma ray burst last night. It was technically this morning around 1 UTC. You can see here where it came from, but the data on these bursts usually lags about two weeks behind, so we'll have to be patient. The induction magnetometer is quiet, only minor pulsations. The ovation prime shows a significant precipitation of both electrons and ions. We can see them here, the electron flux on the ACE chart. You can see this jump in proton density here on the SOHO solar wind data. ACE solar wind shows the same thing. Watch that spot right there go from quiet to active. This is a new active region with sunspots born only in the last few hours. The Earth footprint is right on top of it. We'll keep an eye on that one and this one turning a limb. We have some more data error here. It was gong before, now it's the HMI. This just can't be right. Lastly, folks, that corona hole is now turning away from us, but the solar wind stream that's going to hit Earth is already on its way. Eyes open, folks. Be safe.